Algebra 2, 1.9b, multiply and divide using scientific notation. So we can multiply and divide with scientific notation by using the commutative and associative properties and then using the properties of exponents to simplify the powers of 10. If we see 2.1 times 10 to the fifth times 5.4 times 10 to the negative third, we can rewrite the order with the commutative property and we can move the 2.1 and the 5.4 together and the powers of 10 together. And then we, we've regrouped it with the associative property. See, we've got them in new groups. We do our multiplication of 2.1 times 5.4 and we get 11.34. 11.34 times 10 to the second because we do this positive 5 minus the negative 3, and we get a 2. That's the product property of exponents, says that we can add the exponents, right? Now, we're only allowed one digit to the left of the decimal, so we can't have 11.34 times 10 to the second power. We need to move this decimal over. So to rewrite it into scientific notation, where there's only one digit to the left of the decimal, we multiply it by 10 to the first power, times 10 to the second power, which is what it's set at, see? So by moving it, we multiply it by 10 to the first power, see? We move it one place to the left by multiplying it by a positive exponent. We multiply 1.134 by 10 to the first power because we move the decimal point one place to the left. That's why it's like this. We've moved it one place to the left, see? We end up with 1.134 times 10 to the third because we're going to add this 1 and 2, aren't we? All right, let's take a look at a division 1. We've got 7.2 times 10 to the negative 7th over 8.0. And I, I could have just written an 8, but I want to show the decimal place, okay? So that's why I wrote it this way, times 10 to the 6th. So factoring, we split these up away from the powers of 10, and 7.2 divided by an 8 is a 0.9. So now we have 0.9, but that decimal place can't be there, can it? We can't have a 0 here. We have to have one digit in front of, to the left of the decimal point, and the 0 doesn't count. So we're going to have to move it back. But what we have is a negative 7 exponent minus, because remember, the quotient rule says that we subtract, minus a positive 6. So we've got 10 to the negative 13th. We need to convert this to scientific notation. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this decimal place over by multiplying it by a negative 1 exponent. We've got our negative 13 here. We need to add these together. Negative 1 plus negative 13 is a negative 14, and now we've got 9.0 times 10 to the negative 14. See? Here's another division one. We've got 5.6 times 10 to the fourth power over 0.7 times 10 to the second power. We factor them and split them up. 5.6 divided by 0.7 is the same thing pretty much as a 56 divided by a 7, right? 7 times 8 is 56. So we're going to get a 0.8 for this side, and we're going to do 10 to the fourth power minus 2 for that quotient rule of exponents. We need to move the decimal place behind the 8 to convert it to scientific notation. So because we're moving it to the right, we're going to multiply it by a negative 1. We add the negative 1 and the 2, that it originally had, see 10 to the second power, before we moved it. And now we've moved it because we've got a negative 1 here. Adding the exponents, we have a negative 1 plus a 2 that gives us a 1. We don't have to write the 1, do we? Negative 1 plus 2 is 1, but we don't have to write that 1. We only write it if it's a negative 1 to show that it's negative, all right? When it's a positive 1, we just leave it, right? So our answer is 8 times 10. See? It would be 80, wouldn't it? All right, here's another multiplication one. We've got 5.12 times 10 to the negative 12th 
times 3.4 times 10 to the third. We change the order with the commutative property and we change the grouping with the associative property. So we've got the 5.12 and the 3.4 up front here. We changed their order, that was the commutative property. And now we've got them grouped together and the powers of 10 grouped together by using the associative property. We multiply 5.12 times 3.1 by 3.4 and we get 17.406. We have three hops in the equation, so there's three hops in the product. So we have 17.406, but we need only one digit to the left of the decimal. So we need to move this, don't we? We need to move it over one. So over here, we've got a negative 12 and a 3. Well, a negative 12 plus a 3, because of the product rule of exponents, is going to give us a negative 9. So to convert this to scientific notation, so one digits to the left of the decimal, we multiply it by a positive one. That moves it over. And here's our negative times negative 10 to the negative ninth. See? Product rule of exponents says we add them, right? One plus a negative nine is a negative eight. So now our answer is 1.7406 times 10 to the negative eighth. See? Multiplying by a positive exponent moves the decimal to the left. So think plus sign left, multiplying by a negative exponent moves the decimal to the right. So think of a minus sign and an arrow going to the right. If you can remember this green plus sign with the arrow to the left and this red minus sign with the arrow to the right, that might help you. So when we're multiplying a standard number by a positive exponent to turn it into scientific notation, by multiplying it by a positive, we'll move that decimal to the left, and by moving, by multiplying it by a negative, we'll move it to the right, okay? Just remember to leave one digit to the left of the decimal, all right? Even if there's only one digit there, like a 9, that's fine. It's 9.0, and if it's 0.9, then we have to move that decimal behind the 9, don't we? And take a look at this. If we've got a fraction, we know 1 fourth is 0.25 in decimal form. But because we need one decimal to the left of, we need one space to the left of the decimal, this should be 2.5, shouldn't it? We need one digit to the left of the decimal, I'm sorry. And instead of times 10 to the third, it's times 10 to the second. So we moved it to the right. So we took away, we subtracted an exponent. See that? All right. Okay, our next video is 1.9c, and we're going to talk about estimating with scientific notation. And of course, I've got all the links that you would need to review for chapter one. And we've got a few more lessons for chapter one. And if this list gets too long, I'll just put a link to the Algebra 2 playlist in the description of this video. Then you can click on that and then just scroll down to the videos you want to watch, okay? That should be helpful for studying for a chapter test, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.